Do you ever wonder how deep your laser can cut? I'm the developer of Laser GRBL and I'm trying to answer this question. The way laser cutting works is by concentrating the beam of a laser in a very small spot so as to have a high power density. At the start we don't have a single ray of light, but many rays produced by a semiconductor. These rays are concentrated by one or more lenses to end up all toward the same point. This point is located at certain precise distance from our lens, and it is called the focal distance or focal length. As we move away from this point, the rays form a less concentrated cone of light and the power density becomes insufficient to cut. But in front and behind of this point, there is a region where the rays are a little less concentrated, but still capable of burning. We call the length of this area depth of field. Depth of field is a well-known concept in photography, where we have a distance where the image is perfectly sharp and a region of distance where the image is acceptable, but behind a certain distance the image blurs. The width of this field strictly depends on the type of lens that is mounted on our laser. Usually the lenses can be short, medium or long distance. Let's try to understand how this affects spot size and depth of field and thus the ability to cut deeply. Short lenses usually focus at about 3 cm from the lens. They produce an incredible small and extremely hot focus point. They are great for uh, uh, marking very sharp details, uh, even on difficult to mark materials. The price to pay is that their depth of field is very small and often the limit of this lens is around 5 mm. A mid-distance lens is a good compromise between focal point size and depth of field. This lens focuses at about 5 cm away and gain a few millimeter of depth of field without losing too much in the size of the focus point. Finally, there are lenses with a focal length of 5 cm or more, which manage to have a very high depth of field. These lenses are only valid in conjunction with a high power laser module that compensates for a focus point that becomes significantly wider and therefore less dense with energy. There is a very simple test to evaluate the depth of field of our laser and therefore the ability to cut deeply. Take a painted metal plate and mount it with an inclination of 2 cm to one side. Then focus on the top of the plate and perform a series of passes at full power but a different speed. We will probably see that at a certain distance from the optimal focus point, the beam will no longer be able to engrave the plate, regardless of how slow we make the laser hair go. Now we can calculate our cutting capacity with a simple proportion. The cut dip stay to 2 cm as the engraved length stay to plate length. So, the cut dip can be calculated with a formula that is 2 cm multiplied by the engraved length and divided by the plate length. We can do this test on multiple machines to compare their cutting ability. Or if we have the possibility to examine different lenses, we can see which one is best for us. Here I'm showing you how the same laser diode, a NUBM 44V2, with two different lenses, one long focus and one short focus, behave. Some sellers offer different options like uh, Ortur that sell uh, short lens, medium lens <coughs> and long lens too but uh, many other brands only have one kind of lens uh, option. 
I hope you like this video. If so, please subscribe my channel and activate notifications so you can see more content like this. Thanks for watching.